But I love my haters. I'ma keep being me until the end of me Cause can't nobody do me better than me Ambition in my heart and fire in my eyes And no What's going on y'all? It's your boy Rubino Welcome to the Lake Bush Podcast I got my boys here with me Hey man, it's your boy Richard Pancho Again, it's King Bobby the Fourth. And you know who it is Jay to the motherfucker <laughs> Breezy and we back, nigga As you can see, we were actually on camera this time So this is what everybody looks like You know what I'm saying? And um, so First of all, how was y'all little holiday? You know what I'm saying? We were gone for about two weeks and a half. You know what I'm saying? This was probably the first week of the year, full week. So how was y'all little holiday? Oh, y'all yeah. good? Yeah, it was great. I had a good time. You know what I'm saying? How about you? Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my, I had a wonderful, wonderful time. I would say. How was you, Jay? What's up with you? Y'all yeah, know I turned up. <laughs> Let them see. But yeah, it was it was cool. You know, having a holiday with family and stuff. It was alright. I enjoyed my time. I'm glad they're going though. I'm glad yeah. I'm back. <laughs> uh, man, same here, man. It's good to be to kind of get away from everybody sometimes. And, you know, yeah. I'm just happy about it. So, all right. So, we already know what the hell we're going to talk about. Everybody's been talking about the R. Kelly documentary. You know what I'm saying? Everyone. <laughs> I don't know why it's such a big deal. We've been new R. Kelly been doing this stuff. We actually talked about it a couple times. So, let's see how y'all feel about it. I kind of already know, but let's go ahead and start with Jay Breezy. How y'all feel about this R. Kelly? You know you don't want me to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want to go first? Let's like, see, see how you feel about the, like, you know, what's going on right now? I'm going to just let, I'm going to let somebody else go because I'm not really, like, I don't really want to talk about it because giving it, like, me giving this, like, more publicity is really just making him, like, his shit go up because, like, I don't really want to talk about it, but he should be arrested, bro. Like, this guy I, really I, should go to jail. I definitely agree. But, he should, but, you know, like I said, you know, over the last few years, you've been making jokes about it, which, personally, the only person, the only joke I really liked was the Boondocks one, because at least, you know, because, right. was it Huey? Yeah, so, you know, Huey probably me, said, yo, man, why bro, the hell are we actually... The only reason he's not going to jail, bro, is because it's black female. Like, if it wasn't black women, bro, he would, like, he, he would be in jail. If it was somebody white, he would be fucking in jail. But, like, but they, it's just, like, I, 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 it's just, it's just, them, bro. It's just, it's just the time that he came in to where, like... A whole bunch of black females love certain R and B artists like that, uh, yeah. and and in Boondocks, yeah, they they did make a joke of it, but that was before they heard the allegations that just brought, yeah. brought out now. Like Boondocks came out or was still coming out with like episodes and stuff like this. Um, yeah, R. Kelly, he would have probably been in jail. Yeah, but I think I don't know his lawyer. Somebody is in the system <laughs> that's so good to where this man like he can. You know, people get away with it. I don't think it was even the lawyers. I think the little girl just admitted, like, oh, oh no, that's not me in the video. <laughs> bro, let me talk. Hey, that, that's what really happened. Bro. Hey, bro, fuck y'all celebrities that want to come wave, hop out of nowhere. Even though y'all know he was doing this shit before. Yeah. And now y'all want to act like this man is sick as fuck, even though y'all niggas knew. But y'all want to do some shit right now? Hey, man. It, hey, I agree. Hey, fuck all that. This Jay Breezy turn. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, free R. Kelly. And that's how I feel. R. Kelly ain't care. in jail. I don't care. Yeah. Free him. Get off his name. Get off his dick. I hate people who decide now R. Kelly's wrong. It's like, too late for that. It, yeah, like, I, I, now yeah. all of a sudden y'all want to decide R. Kelly's wrong. People been knowing R. Kelly for years. They knew what he was doing. They knew he liked little girls. But at the end of the day, people worship Jay Z and Beyonce. But at the end of the day, Jay Z was legit in high school when she wasn't even fucking formed yet. Oh, you're talking about the, the, the Foxy Brown? No, I'm, I'm talking nah. about I'm talking about the fact that yeah, people that the age gap yeah, people them feel too. like the age gap is such a problem. Like, and I agree, it's weird in a way, but at the same time, 14, you know, 12 and up is what people start having that mindset. Nah. Okay, people are attracted to me. I'm gonna start having sex at that age. That's when a lot yeah. of people start doing those things. And, and at the same time, you know, there's a lot of things that R. Kelly might have been doing that pushed him towards you know doing extra stuff. But at the same time, they have a brain and they have parents. I'm not blaming R. Kelly for what he liked. I'm not gonna say go to jail for what he like. Get some fucking help, yes, but I'm not gonna sit here and say he deserves to be locked up for messing with little girls. He didn't rape them, he didn't force them to stay. At the end of the day, yeah, you know, it's a lot that they have been going through. Here's the, pro- here's, here's the problem. There's no force. Here's, here's the problem I have with this, okay? They they did say that they were locked at their own will, but at the time, it, like, I, how, how old, like, how old are they now, these, these, uh... They were, they, I mean, they're older now, most of them are. They're like, what, 20s? In their 20s, some they of them have, in their 30s. No, now they're at the age where they have been listening to what people have been saying. Because they, all their life, they, who, like, who they mess with or whatever case may be, like, with them mess with R. Kelly. People yeah. have known that they mess with R. Kelly. Right. So all their life they're getting told, hey, you can get this out of that. You can get this out of that. 
And then with the situation with him and the little girl that he peed on or whatever the case may have been, they looked at that and they were like, you know what? At the age, they couldn't do nothing about it. But now that they're older, it's like, okay, I'm going to come out and say something. But the only reason they want to do that is because not, if one person comes out, they're all going to come out. And you know why? It's because they feel like they have an advantage now. Now there's something they can get out of it. R. Kelly is a famous person. At the end of the day, the, your parents knew what the fuck you were doing. You're not just going to R. Kelly's house just to go to R. Kelly's house. Here's the thing. Everybody know where you go. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but here's the thing. A child at 12, 13 years old doesn't know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, that's not fair. And, 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 that's not fair. But I don't even know. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's unfair. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is that's kind of unfair to a child. And to me personally, I'm blaming the parents. Yeah, you I'm have too. to blame the parents and for this. Facts. Because at the end of the day, a child, you know, we were all kids, were we not? That's we true. were very curious about things. I was very sexual at 14. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. You was very curious about it. I was right? I was okay, but, but, but what I'm saying is, what yeah, I'm saying is, it's still wrong. Right. For a grown man, you are a grown man. That's true. You know that is a child. Of course the child is going to follow you. Of course. Because they're curious. Of course. Which, again, I blame the parents. Because if you had parents that would say, do not do that. Mm -hmm. Do not try to follow people all the time. Have your own mind. If we had more of that, they wouldn't be a problem. That's I don't. Facts. You can't really blame the child. I mean, you I'm cannot not, blame the that's, child. That's my that is not that right. And, that's why and not only okay. that. Hold on. And yeah, not, no, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Bro. And not no, only bro. that. Let's say they do get older. They probably feel embarrassed, right? You're gonna feel embarrassed because you're gonna be like, "Hey, I can't believe I did that." You know, and people like you guys say, "Hold conscious, on, wait, man. wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, hold on." Yes, she was conscious, but she was only doing it. Because of the fact R. Kelly was like, yeah, you know, I'll give you this, I'll give you money, That's yeah, you candy. Yes! Little girls at that age, there's a lot of girls, there's so many girls out here. They looked up to them. He could have paid the parents off, he could have did something like but, that. But, but that's still not the child's fault. That's still not the child's fault. But it's still fault. So if Nicki Minaj came up to me when I was 14, Exactly. Think about it like that. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. Let's like, just say. Of course you're going to Of course you are. Gonna, no, and, no, and that's it, another problem. See, that's, and, see, and, and that's okay, another problem. Don't stand how you, up how, up. It is. And, and, and that's, that's a problem too. Problem. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's another thing. I'm going to talk about too is I think a lot of times, you know, we look at guys. <laughs> but but again, that's the problem because, you know, we look at little boys and we see like an older teacher. What's the first thing we do? Boy, you lucky. Oh man, that, that was me. Yeah, I think, I think that's school, messed I used up. To, I but guess, we had that conversation about the teacher. Yeah. Though, yeah. But on. but I'm not gonna lie, that's just how men are. We just be like, dang man, you know what I'm saying? If we see a 14 year old with a teacher, and we know that that he's in it, we won't even say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like and how? that's the sad part. You know, because of course you know we're you know we're curious. We're like, dang. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like for for the for the little like you said it was the parents' fault. I can I can blame the parents yeah. on that too, but it's mostly the parents. But you have young little black girls who who probably have seen like they they probably don't have either a father or either mother sometimes maybe even both. But if there's a single mother, I'm not I'm not saying it's all black women or all women. I'm not trying to you know beat down women like that. But right. some of them think like you need to have a mind of your own. You know you're you're grown now. You can do whatever you want. Some some women teach that to their daughters. But not but that's the problem. But back but back back in like early 2000s and all that stuff. When all that was going on, them being twelve years old, and and they think, oh, they've grown now. Twelve, what, what, twelve through sixteen years old, especially the sixteen years old. Don't, don't they, they already, they already developed their, uh, the, like their anatomy of like what they look like, right. you know, titties, ass, anything. So they already made that slate of like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go see R. Kelly. Sixteen years old, hey, I might want to fuck. I might want to do all these other things. Simple as that. So. Yeah, parents, and then them thinking that they have the mind of their own to, to actually do something. So, R. Kelly, being famous and everything, having anybody who is famous and you got fans, yeah, you're going to have ass thrown at you all the time. Right. You're going to have hate, you're going to have ass, you're going to have a whole bunch of problems. Especially since you got money, and since like you you just like top R&B dog on, on anything, Okay. a lot of people is going to... Just gonna fuck with you. My and I totally understand that. So this is what I did, Somebody right? Said. Hold on. So this is what I did, right? So on Facebook, there was a post on Facebook that I really liked that I wanted y'all to read. So we're gonna be. I just texted to y'all. Y'all should be getting it right now, actually. Or wherever your phone is. So we're gonna be right back, and I want y'all to read the text. 
And this is why I say parents are super important in situations. But we'll be right back. Okay, I agree with that. But Reddit, um, but that's what I was trying to say. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like a lot of times we don't really teach kids about sex like that. We don't. But let's be real. Let me ask y'all something. Did y'all have sex education at school? Yes. yes, yes. You did. I don't think they're doing it now. I think they that's even now, stopped it. No, they always that's do. Now, though. Back in the day. I think they stopped like, doing it. Back in the day, they stopped it. You know that's a uh, sexual class. It's a graduation requirement, yeah. actually. Oh, oh, they changed. Yeah, I used yeah. to have that in fifth. I used to take that class in fifth grade. A funny story about me taking that class. I had this one yeah. friend named Ronald. He, uh, he was, he was well more like knowledgeable about sex and all that stuff because he used to do it all the time. Yeah. But as soon as that class comes up, he gets so offensive with it, yeah. and then like he gets kicked out the class or excuse himself because yeah. he doesn't like learning about the the, the reproductive yeah. system between. Or like anything with a man or woman, so it was just it was just a little funny little mishap story that had like you know every time we had that class. But yeah. at the end of the day, to stick to top, yeah. these little girls are old enough to know what the fuck they're doing. I period. don't think they're old enough. I man. will I will be honest with you. Okay, I, don't I think put, they're old enough because we're gonna, child's hold on, mind. hold on, because we're gonna because I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all in perspective. Boom, like we said, with boys, little boys. If a grown ass, fuck that, Nicki Minaj walked up to anybody in this room at the age of 14, I'm busting a nut. Simple as that. Yeah. Everybody else in here is doing the same thing. Exactly. And we would get no shame for that. Neither would she because we're little boys. But as a little girl, having your mindset that, oh, you're going to go fuck with R. Kelly is wrong only because that man is grown. But at the end of the day, we look at that like there's a problem there, but we don't look at it as there's a problem with us doing the same. Yeah. So that's one fuck up. On top of that, at four, age of 14, 12 and up, first off, yeah. at that age where, like you said, curiosity. Curiosity kills any cat. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you have that decision. If you, I blame the parents 101%. Because yeah. if you taught your kid a certain way, they yeah. wouldn't do certain things. Exactly. But these that's people are not... You know, but I'm not gonna sit here and say R. Kelly is completely wrong. Because everybody likes R. Kelly what, is, but No, but listen, but listen. He's completely wrong. Every, yeah, I'm not saying he's completely wrong. He is wrong for messing with a little girl because in American society, we feel like there's a problem with that age difference. Yeah. Because, you know, you have time to develop and allegedly, allegedly, at the ages, you know, below 18. You manipulate. You, yeah, you are yeah. easier manipulated. But at the end of the day, you have a brain the same way. He has a brain, then when anybody else has a brain. Because we look at that as it's wrong in American society, but in other places, you know there's kids out here getting married at 14 to 20 year olds. And, and they don't look at that. Yeah, they have a range of marriages and all these things. And we as American people do not see that as wrong. So why do we look at R. Kelly as he's such a bad person? Because look, listen here. People like what they like, and that's gonna happen. There's people in this world who like dogs, man. They're like, yeah, shit happens. I no, but the thing is, at the end of the day, you can't blame him for what he likes. You can try to get him help for it and help him understand more. Like you're here, this is what you can't do in these parts. But I don't feel like he should be locked up for that. He should go to counseling. If he fails counseling, put his ass in jail. Because at the end of the day, you're touching minors. That's wrong. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna lock R. Kelly up, lock his parents up. Well, not his parents, but their parents, because they shouldn't have been allowing these kids to get to where they were. Like at the end of the day, if you knew where your kids were that's at 24 seven. R. Kelly wouldn't have the opportunity and that's to mess with the kids. And that's what I'm saying, and which is why all I'm these saying. parents are trying to sit here and say that R. Kelly did, you know, it was a manipulative thing yeah. and we didn't know. No, you're wrong. You did, At the yeah. end of the day, these kids are going out and doing things. Cause, I'm saying, wait, because think about it. After every concert that he must have had in those certain areas, who's coming back on the tour bus with him? Because yeah. cause think about it. Like, the girls, they always, they're, the mom doesn't always go. I got to work. But you could go. You a grown ass woman. You had your first period. Yeah. That's what some moms think. And you you get a boy like his his balls drop and he's asking his father about questions. Hey, what you know what's going on? My yeah. body's acting weird. I'm feeling these. Oh, you you becoming a man now. But they still have that that mindset of oh I'm gonna still play until the time comes to where it's like okay I gotta really get down to it. Yeah. But certain women get taught too early of uh, becoming a woman. Boys too though. I think boys. Some talk. boys know. I think it's yeah, just I what they're exposed to. Like, if but he's, that's, yeah. So if he's exposed to like, like pornography and, and masturbation and like all these women at a young age by like, his, like very like his, let's say he had a thirty year old brother and he's fourteen, yeah. and he's and his brother exposed him to all. Yeah. He's now gonna start like, oh, yeah, I like exactly. this shit. Yeah. But for 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 parents who who think they should like hurry up and teach their kids, oh, 
you're a woman now, you gotta start doing this and this and this, you need a man like this, yeah. love, sex, and all this. You teach that at, like at a time too early. So like, I feel like if you have a single mom, she teaches that uh, that to her uh, daughter too early. But if yeah. you have both parents, there, there's a way to counter, there's to counteract that. Yeah. There's, there, there'll be a reason why, um, that, I'm, not a reason why, but there'll be reasons to prevent things like R. Kelly or, yeah. or or these rape scandals or things being held up like that. So I want like it, it goes both ways. Like R. Kelly, hey, counseling that don't work, jail. So the parents, why weren't you on on top of your children? That's I I, I forgot what it was called, but like they, I won't say neglect, but that's kind of like you you're not you're not. That's, that's your fucking child. Yeah. See, but CPS, yeah, but yeah, should be called. Yeah, but at the same office. time, our kids should still go to jail for even, but not even just attempting, no, it, but actually doing it. No, because because point, and, and, no, no. But here's the thing, though. It, if you do a person that is younger than you and you're not supposed to, you have to you're go famous, to jail. You're famous, right? No, you you are no, you are already go to jail, bro. You got to go to jail. jail. You famous, right? Okay. And let's say. Your security and everything, they they're only blocking the way so you can get on your tour bus. Okay. So you can go so you can go to the next state. Bro, he's or whatever. past the point of counseling. Yeah. No no no, right. listen, listen, listen. He's listen. past the point of counseling. Listen to this. He, 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 got, he, got, he got older women and all that stuff. Yeah. But then he got this little ass girl that, oh I am on R. Kelly's tour bus. This is his bus out of all the buses on here. This is R. Kelly's tour bus. Hiding on the bus. Waiting for R. Kelly to come in here. They're already damn near down like 30 minutes away from the next spot that they about to show up at. Yeah. And she pops her head out. Or whoever, like, let's say, if, if it's that type of, if she's if she's that diehard fan of R. Kelly, how is she, like, if she loves him, because that's how, that's how some of these females yeah. think. You famous. This chick loves you because she loves the way you sound, look, dress, your taste, how you move, dance, and all that stuff. She fell in love with you. That's just the equivalent of us as like as us as boys falling in love with like a bitch like Nicki Minaj, Beyonce. But I'm not in love with her though. No, we yeah, because guys are different. You can you, you don't you can't compare guys and girls like, that way. You you can't like I want to say a girl can't want to be like she can't be in love with somebody off of just like she's infatuated with them like. But that's Chris where that, But that's perspective. That's what their brain is. Their brain makes them feel that way. Whereas it's easier for them to feel that way because their parents teach them. You need to be in quote unquote love to do A, B, C, and D things. So their brain is automatically telling them, oh, I'm so in love with your girl. I know they know, like, in their head, they can't be in love with somebody. But they don't know that because of what they, they were taught. To. At the end of the day, they everything, have to, though. everything tries to go back to the parents. They don't know, bro. Listen, they don't, they don't know. Listen, they don't know. That, they're only, okay, because the average, no. okay, no, let me no, tell you no, something. No, hold on, wait, 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 wait. They don't know. She's too young to understand what love is, bro. too young? No, she, she, she loves her parents. Really young. Yes, she, she is. is. She young. loves her parents. You can no. never. Okay, that's a different type of love, yo. Cause love dies just like that. Nobody knows what love is. You, you love dies just like no, no. that, bro. You can love some. Look, look, because look, if you see somebody, you're already thinking, dang. Especially us guys, you're like, dang. Well, I think I think she I love knows. Her a bit. She knows. You know why? Cause her mother taught her how to be a woman and what she needs for her womanly needs. She yeah. taught her that. Her mother taught her that. Let me. Let me, let me so she me took that, that knowledge that she just crammed in. Oh, I need love. I love R. Kelly. I wonder if he's going to take me in and marry me. You seen his show. People was touching his dick. People was wiping his face. But that's the... but Because they love him that much. But that's the problem. She's too if, young. If they had the chance, the nigga would be fucking him but on stage. That's, that's not facts. This 14-year-old, 12-year-old... Because let me tell you something. As she gets older, she's going to realize as she gets older. Damn, I really like R. Kelly. So let me ask you this. That's why she came up. So let me ask you this. As a 14-year-old... Can you own a business? Yes or no? You probably could, yeah. Okay then. So if you can understand how to run a fucking business. But that's very rare for then, a young child. No, pause. No, it's not. Because at the end you of the day, you know how many man. young actors there are out here who do all sorts of things. They travel the world by themselves. They don't have their parents with them. They do all these things on their own. It's a guy. It's, it's but one little boy. Youngest, he's, he's like 16 years old. He has a business for selling um, expensive shoes to, to rap artists. And like he, and he's, he's hanging out with DJ Cali. He's like twelve, actually. To be Shit. Exact. He's yes. like twelve. And all he does, he he's the plug. He gets DJ Cali these special motherfucking Jordans, whatever. And we're gonna pause there because at the end of the day, that's a he. So a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, but we're talking about females. Okay, if you wanna talk about females, there's a fourteen, the youngest executive producer now to this day is a young black girl. She's fourteen years old. 
at the end of the day, she didn't go out here fucking with R. Kelly. She is 14. She can run her own business. She's making her own TV shows, all types of shit. But you mean to tell me a 14-year-old girl that would mess around with R. Kelly is wrong? Or that he's wrong? She has her own mindset, she and she's able to function. Wrong. And that's me outside, bitch. She yeah, and that's me outside, bro. But, but she's she, 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 she making her own money. money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, on. Me, let me speak. He, hold, hold, wait, 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 wait. He is wrong, period. No. Just because a 14-year-old says, I'm in love with R. Kelly, it does not give R. Kelly the right to do her. Point blank. If you... Yes, she does. Okay, listen. Okay, so that look, is not right. Bro. I'm not... No, look. I completely disagree with messing... The age gap is... So you're saying that a 14-year-old... Okay, so okay. let me ask you this. So you tell me a 14-year-old girl came up to you right now. You're going to say... You weren't yeah. listening to what I was saying. No. The point is, the age gap, I agree with. He's wrong for that. But there's counseling for things like that. I'm not saying he... People who belong in jail are people like killers, murderers, thieves, those type of people, rapists. He didn't rape no one. It was consensual. At the end of the day, if you say yes, if you say it's okay, if you let it happen, it is consensual and you allow that shit to happen. As you get older, you can start understanding, yeah, maybe I didn't want to do it, but at the end of the day, you had your own brain at that age. And R. Kelly is completely wrong for messing with little girls. He should get some counseling. For people who think he should go to jail, look at yourself. At the end of the day, they thought he should go to jail. For exactly. Jail. And nowadays, there's girls out here that are 12, 16, 14, 13, who look like they're 22. And, and I guarantee you, so there's no man in this world. It doesn't mean that he's right. I know, I know. I'm not saying he's right, but you, that's what you're not getting. I'm not saying R. Kelly is right. I'm saying R. Kelly shouldn't get the max punishment for what they're trying to yes, push Yes, he did, for. because he did it. Point he blade. didn't rape nobody. Yes, he did. Rape is going to be You are not allowed to he, do a none child. Of them, none of them said he raped them. It doesn't matter. It, they, doesn't they, matter. it was consensual. See, it was consensual. Because they allowed it. Listen, this was, it could be in text messages or verbal talk and that they, they're they probably not, some of the females are not going to say or R. Kelly's are not going to say because they probably, R. Kelly could have been like, okay, you know what's wrong because of the age. She was like, she could have been like, I know, but I love you so much. I want to. But you are going at Boom. You should have said no. I Boom. Said, that's a, I listen, listen, it. listen. R. Kelly. Agree. This is what R. Kelly said. She this doesn't have R. Kelly right to say. She doesn't have the right to agree to consensual sex though. But yes, she does. She she does. She does. She does. She's a R. Kelly woman. Think about it. This is a this is a probable cause that could happen. R. Kelly could have been like, this is wrong, we shouldn't do this. Why like you you the age difference. Why are you doing this? Or why do you want to do this? Okay. Boom, little girl. Oh, I want to. I love you. You're my favorite artist. You're this, you're that to me. I'm the, your songs mean so much to me. I want to. He's the, he he already said we shouldn't do this, but she loves him so much as an artist, as who he who he is and everything. Means to say that she like meaning to say that she wants like she really wants those engagements with him. Let me, let me just get get into R. Kelly's whole like history. Like he ain't raping no First of all, R. Kelly like that's why he made the song you, crime. When you blame R. Kelly, you gotta blame like. Cause he's a product of his, of his like environment. Like he, he didn't know this, but he was probably he was molested like when he was young. And that's so fact. First of all, he was that's fact. I don't care that's if you've been molested. Doesn't that's mean that you don't molest somebody. Okay, else. okay, so I'm gonna pause you right there. Think he about didn't that. Nobody. He didn't molest nobody. There's, nobody there's, there's, nobody there's porn stars out here nowadays, right? We're gonna talk about porn stars. That's fact. There's porn stars out here who are porn stars now because they were raped as little kids. These little girls are not porn stars. They were not raped. Meaning, they had their own mindset, whereas R. R, R. Kelly was touched as a young boy, so that's what he understands. He's still stuck in that mind frame, that's why I said get him help. He doesn't belong in jail for some shit that he knows. If he was touched at a little age, you know, what's that, what's that gonna make him think? Oh, it's okay to touch little people. And even though he may know it's wrong, at the end of the day, he was touched, and he didn't deserve that. He needs help, he doesn't belong in jail at all. At the end of the day, he is wrong. Yes, no. I, I will never see ever listen, agree. Listen, I would say he, listen, listen, listen. The only time I would say he would need, we should give him help is if, like, let's say he says, "Look, I think there's something wrong with me. I'm looking at little girls. I didn't touch them, but I think I like little girls." That's when you get him help. Not no, oh, I did it. I messed with a 14 year old girl. Yeah, I, I need, I need help. No, it's too late, bro. Okay, you so did. let me ask you this then: Why are serial killers given a second chance? Serial so killers are not giving. Yes, they are. Most of the time, yes, they, no, 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 most of the time, no, no, nobody, nobody goes, goes straight so, to the death penalty. They so, tell you this in jail, but at the end of the day, when they get in prison, they have a time sentence before they're sentenced okay. to Okay. And they question and ask, and if they continue on with the same, yes, fuck that, I'm killing whoever fuck I want to. That's one thing, but they get second chances. There's a such thing as called life in prison, but at the end of the day, that's a second chance. You know why? Because you're able to live with other people. You're able to breathe on so the fucking earth. So you're like somebody, somebody, but you're still free to do so as you please. 
Jesus. As, no, a, serial, not, as a serial killer, you can still kill It's just like there. school. You get free time outside. You get three meals a three meals a day. Yeah. We got one meal a day. Or one meal, or no, two meals. My yeah. Two meals a day, or whatever. School, breakfast, lunch. You get time hacks of like, oh, I need to be here. Oh, I get this 15 minutes to be in the library. Oh, I get this much time to go watch TV or whatever. Oh, I get this much time to be outside. Oh, I can go to the gym. School. Oh, I'm about to go outside and lift weights. School. Oh, I don't like you. We put a fight. Jail. You can fight somebody. See. It's just like school. You, there, there's time. There's always time hacks. You, you, it's so damn stressful. It's so damn like stupid. But jail is like school. Yeah, it's facts. But at the end of the day, the point is, yeah, R. Kelly, R. Kelly, is wrong with little girls. Completely wrong. I completely agree because that's fucked up. At the end of the day, yes, you are able to manipulate kids at that age. Yeah. But kids at that age also have their own responsibilities and brains. I don't care. And the thing is, your brain, your brain is formed through what you see and how what you're taught your parents are completely fucking wrong if anybody should be locked up in a situation it is the parents you allowed your child to go out mm-hmm. and go into this world not knowing what is right and what is wrong because at the end of the day nobody really knows what is right and what is wrong but what you're taught is what you do so if you were taught at the age of 10 no if you started being taught at the age of nine it's okay to have sex with little girls you're going to grow up having sex with little girls because that's what you were fucking taught and these girls were taught at that age that if you love someone, you can have sex with them. So they felt that they loved R. Kelly. R. Kelly is wrong for messing with the little girl, but at the end of the day, her brain thought that she loved that man. And you can't blame him for what you thought. He didn't force you to ha- have those thoughts. He didn't put those thoughts in your head. Your parents did. Your parents gave you the idea that, oh yeah, it's okay to have sex. Okay, you can go out here and mess with R. Kelly. Because at the end of the day, where were the parents when these girls were doing A, B, C, and D? And it was so fucking wrong, if my kid, if I have a little girl and she went to a grown ass man's house, I don't give a fuck, famous or not, I'm kicking that bitch down because at the end of the day, that's fucking wrong. And if they knew that, they should be locked up before our kid. And that's my personal opinion. Because at the end of the day, you like what you like. There's a lot of weird people in this world that like all types of things. There's transvestites in this world who I feel, I agree, do you. That's what you like. You want to change, that's cool. But at the end of the day, by the end of the day, you're lying to people. You're giving people the concept that, oh yeah, I'm a female, or oh yeah, I'm a man, and you're having sex with them, and then later on, when you fall in love, you're telling them that, oh yeah, this is who I really am. So at the end of the day, should they be locked up? Because they, they, that's what they like? No, they shouldn't. And neither should R. Kelly. Because at the end of the day, he likes little girls, and that's fucking wrong. It's completely disrespectful. But at the end of the day, there's help for these things. You don't have to run around here saying, oh yeah, R. Kelly should be locked up for messing with little girls. He didn't rape nobody. These little girls had brains and they didn't come out, they didn't come out saying, oh yeah, he raped me. They didn't change their whole life based off of R. Kelly. See, with that, I gotta kinda like like, disagree because I I feel like you can be raised a certain way and still come out like another way. Like, cause with me and my brother, like we was both raised the same way, but he ended up running the streets and being like a hood nigga. See, that's it's the things that happen. Like, it's friends. It, it's it's what you kind of like exposed to. Like, even though my mom would tell him, like my dad would tell him, like, oh, like this should be your like group of friends. Like, you should only hang out with these people. Like, you shouldn't be getting involved in all that shit. You still can find a way to end up getting involved in all that shit. That's basically what I'm saying. Like, you can't really blame it all on the parents. R. Kelly, like, well, R. Kelly, I feel like part of me thinks he should go to counseling, but then again, part of me thinks his counseling was almost going to jail that one time because. As he almost went to jail, he like he quickly found out that like bro, like I can really go to jail for this shit. Like I can really spend a long time in jail for this shit. And even though he knew that, he still ended up doing it afterwards. See, even if you go to like counseling, the temptation is still gonna be there, bro. Like, like temptation is fucking crazy. Like temptation is crazy. Like it can make you do crazy shit. Like even though he get this counseling, he liked that shit. Like, bro, he he almost went to jail. Like he almost been like. And he had a baby on the way during that time, bro. Like, that was a bad time for him. He almost ended up in jail. Even after all that shit, bro, like, he still ended up, like, fucking, like, like, still doing it. Like, still, had, I, I watched Surviving R. Kelly, so I know, like, like, I don't know how true most of that shit is, but from what I, like, heard, like, him having bitches, like, basically, not hostage, because they knew what was going on, but him having a whole bunch of bitches in the house, like, telling them this is what they can do, this is what they can't do, like, having this, like, like basically, like, they in prison, like, for him, that's that shit. Parents, like, that's parents. 
Yeah, you live, you yeah. living at your parents' house, but you can't do this. You can't do that. No, no, no. That's no, that's back. no. It's, <laughs> it's not like that at all. It is because he had bitches reporting to him like he was the commanding general of the fucking house. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Like, no, if you right. if you're in the house and you fuck some shit up, who are you telling? Your damn parent. That's facts. And so that's how he had his house. No, no, like, no, no, no. Like so, if you like if you your brother, no, that's not the case though. Like if a bitch go to the bathroom and he said you couldn't go to the bathroom. Like, like you see a bitch walking to the bathroom. What you doing, bitch? Like, why are you going to the bathroom? Now I say you can go to the bathroom. Come here, come here. Slap the fuck out of her, and then she go back to the room. No, 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 no. And your parents are gonna leave her. No, no, bro. Hell no. That's how you say. Your parents like, hey, what you doing, bitch? Hey, come back, bro. Hell no. You tell me. Now, if you was nine and you was just trying to walk out your mom's house, your mom just gonna let you go. No, but this you whip your ass. You like beat your ass. She was going to the bathroom. Uh, like I, I, all she was going was to the bath. No, no, she was going to the bathroom. Did I say you go to? Cause on the on the not Kelly. It was a girl trying to meet up with another girl in the bathroom. And she was like, like, and basically R. Kelly, like, he, I guess he found out of some shit. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, wait. Oh, this, this, this is all about bro. It's so much crazy shit that happened. Like, bro. He made this one bitch dress up as a guy. Okay. Like she do. Is that normal? Did he, yeah. make, did he physically touch that little girl and make her do it? Well, no. I mean, oh, hold on. Now, no. now, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. You can't be, like, someone can't scare you to be like, you don't have to touch somebody to okay. do it. No. no that's your okay. parents. How you do something you because you love him. No, yes. no, 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 listen, listen, to be honest, they may stop loving them after that. Bro, when you're scared, you're trying to escape. Bro, you're you scared. Let me you escape. Ta- no, no, Every, it's let me tell you about that, one, man. Bro, let me tell you about this one thing he did. So this is one bitch on Osama and R. Kelly, right? She was like, yeah, his favorite team is Chicago Bulls. Yeah. She liked the Cavs. And then, like, they was talking about sports. They was going on about the game. And she was like, I like the Cavs. And R. Kelly was like, no, you don't. You like the Bulls, bitch. <laughs> and then... And she was like, no, I like the Cavs. And R. Kelly, this is R. Kelly. You bro. like the Bulls, and you're not gonna eat tonight. Bro, all because she said she liked the Cavs? Like, he took away her dinner? Like, bro, this man need to go to jail. Like, what type of shit is this? Like, bro, his counseling was almost going to jail the first time. Maybe counseling. he need to go to jail. That is counseling. No, it's not. Go to jail. Bro, go to jail. Go to jail is a counseling. Alright, alright. That's counseling. All right, all right. King. About some final, final, hold on, hold on. King, final thoughts, final thoughts. Man. So, That's counseling, bro. So, so, the end, so just, to, just to end everything, this, this will be the last. Alright, final thoughts. So, as, as far as R. Kelly and these, and these kids, if I'm R. Kelly, okay, I, I can see where drawing the line with these with the, with the those little girls, you know, saying you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, just. Just teaching them, or not teaching them, but just making them like, they almost say they're slaves because they had the option to leave before shit like that even started. Okay. But they but, so deep into it, bro. It's, but as, but, as, but as far as them being deep into it, would you go, who's, who's your favorite artist? Who's your favorite artist? Probably like J. Cole Kendrick. Okay, J. Cole Kendrick, right? Would you go to one of their concerts? Yeah. Would you go well, out? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna, no. We're not gonna go that far. So, you go to one of their concerts, right? Why? Because I like their music. Their mu- they have good music. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a good concert because they're my favorite artist. And that's, mi- that's basically it. To, so, cool. That's what these other girls think. He has good music. A whole bunch of females love when, when, when famous people talk about sex and all that shit. They, love, they eat that shit up real quick. Because they are Kelly talking about some bumping, grinding, and... And some, oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna have sex with you, I'm gonna do all this. In the song, them girls feel it. They they thrive on it. So the fact that they went to his concert, may or may not snuck in the storm bus, or he's like, I want you and you and you, if you wanna come back to my house. Um, remix edition, hot and fresh out the group <laughs> on out. It's our kill. You, 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 you're gonna love him. Like, I would, me personally, if I had a daughter, yeah, you're not going over this fucking house. Simple. All right. Well, hey, okay, this is, all that shit, I'm still gonna step in the name of love. Well, this, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, for me personally, this is my final thoughts on this. Personally, um, R. Kelly is wrong, period. Even though the 14 year old, now hold on, let me speak. Even though the, even though the 14 year old 
um, wanted to do stuff with R. Kelly, R. Kelly had could have had just said no. It doesn't matter. Hold on, wait a minute. It doesn't matter if yes, the, if the fourteen year old agreed to do it, he's still in the wrong. Period. Does R. Kelly need help? Yes. Do I think it's too late for him to have help? Yes, because he did young girls. A lot of the girls said they were fourteen and fifteen years old. Do I blame the parents? Yes. Of course, I'm going to blame the parents because. For one, I'm not having my 14-year-old hang out with, because I'm pretty sure it was some of her friends. I'm like, yeah, girl, R. Kelly. Yeah, girl, go ahead. Now, if that was my daughter, she already know what's up. Yeah, what's that your I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be calling you. I'm going to do whatever. You're not going anywhere. Matter of fact, the friends you got, you can't hang out with them no more. Because apparently, you know, the parents just wasn't on it like this. And that's like, what I'm saying. Like, so, again, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait a minute. And again, that's why I feel that way. So yes, R. Kelly needs to go to jail. Will he go to jail? No. There's a hold on. There's a possibility. No. Just because of the fact that look what happened to Bill Cosby. But okay. Bill Cosby was raping bitches. Hold on. Wait, he was raping bitches. That's a little bit different. No, no, wait, wait, we can't wait, compare wait. their. Well, no, shit. hold on. Wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. It's listen, no, listen to what I'm saying. What, what I'm saying it? is, since Bill Cosby's in prison right now, I feel like that's what they're trying to do to R. Kelly right now. That's what I can see that happen. That's why I think he's probably going to jail. I can already see a young girl today probably saying now i don't know if she's lying but knowing how this world works and all this entertainment stuff works they can get a young girl to say yeah i was there and he did that to me just to put all it they gotta do is just pay her which what i'm saying some money. Money. Bitch. so do i think rk is gonna judge there's a possibility now if he gets out of it i'm gonna be in shock because i'm gonna be in shock but I'm again not. the parents should be even in bigger trouble because if i was R. Know, kelly and if i had the power i'd be like okay put all them bitches on the lie detector right now if that's what he wants to do, he can. But I feel like he should do that. He Therefore, should. if they don't tell the truth, the my thing is, he did the show willingly. Nobody yeah. begged that nigga to do the show. He but, been, was okay with the show. And that's another problem I have with these shows. I feel like they need to change the age limit for these. If he, if he's doing just it, like a club, right? If you go to a club, don't they put like a wristband on you, make sure you can drink, right? They need to start doing that to um to to some it of these girls. It doesn't even start there. It's they need to start doing it. But no, that's just. No, no, but that's what they need to start doing with these concerts. Because look, because look, look what happened to Drake. I don't know if you heard about it, but Drake's already they're trying to get Drake now too. Because apparently, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Facts. He had a 17 year old girl, 16 year old girl come on stage. He didn't know, but he was doing all that caressing and all that stuff. He asked, "How old are you? 17?" Oh Lord, what, what, what's going on? And of course, he said, "What's well, fuck it? It's fine." See, now he's gonna be in trouble he is, because shit. he's not gonna like. You know, so, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get to the Drake but, situation. Yeah, but, but yeah. But it's happening. Trust me. I think our, there's a possibility that he may go to jail. But at, but the final thing I'm going to say is parents is and at the end of the day, parents need to do better. And one of the biggest problems we're having is parents today, and even in my generation, they're being lazy and not wanting to teach their girls and boys about sex. Sex needs to be taught a little bit more different instead of just the scientific of yeah this yeah this is your mom. no they need to really teach sex. So for real. I feel like. Sex ed shouldn't be taught by people who are trained of knowing what yeah. sex is about. It should be taught by the parents. Yeah. It should be taught, like, parents should literally take time out of their day to teach kids about sex. Yeah. Some some should come in the mail and be like, yeah, it's about that time of the year where your kid is, like, yeah. on some oh, shit. I thought they used to do that. I guess they stopped doing that bullshit, too. No, what parents need to be teaching their kids about sex, because there's only three things you can tell a kid about sex. There's for sex for pleasure. There's sex for love, and then there's sex for very inexplicit ways. And, 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 and that's is, what they need to be taught. And, Stop telling them, oh, you have sex because you love someone. Because and you can love anybody. I would also, also, say give give kids the full knowledge of things. Yeah. That, that's, the, that's the problem. Well, that's what the problem well, is. Because think about it. I, I said this before. Having options create chaos. Yeah. But yes, and also... I'll, and also but I'll, not I'll, having I'll, options creates more chaos for the simple fact that you're going to want to look no, 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 if they, if, they, if, if no, no. If the they didn't thing. know, if they didn't know about it, and if you told them sex is not only for a person's pleasure, but you can have sex with your partner that you love and that you feel comfortable with, with, um, with exposing yourself to, yeah. so you can use your own, your only partner that you love. You know, if you, if you don't, don't just jump right into sex and be like, I'm gonna try it because I think I love you. No. Give it some time. Don't give in to, to something that's not that's not gonna last. That's what I would teach. Don't give in to something that's not gonna last. I'm gonna keep going yeah. because if you do that, you're you're gonna you're gonna set yourself up for future failures. You're gonna 
you're gonna set yourself up to, to learn what's wrong. So give so give your children the knowledge, not everything, yeah, but certain things that they need to know just to get not just to get by, yeah. but to have a, a protected future right. for themselves or them not to get uh, exposed to something that's harmful or something right. that, that can scar them. So that's why I feel like giving them too much knowledge, giving giving a young female too yeah. much knowledge of her, oh you're a woman now. You don't need you don't need to you need to do this, think about this, think about this, think about this. No, you're giving them too much knowledge, they cram the information. They're not even gonna remember everything that you said. They're yeah. gonna get the first and last words. But, Sex and pleasure. But I think that's one of the biggest things that I feel what needs to start happening is because let me ask you this question. What age do you think you should talk to talk to a child about 12. sex? About twelve? But it depends. Okay, like and I agree, it's a but, boy or girl. But here's the thing also what needs to start happening is we need to take away the I, I don't think a child should have an iPhone or Android. And one of the biggest problems, I'm gonna tell you why. One of the biggest problems is again, unless you can put some type of Parent which you can. would take, yeah. Which, but uh, that's why I feel parents need to start doing because Me. it's so easy now. You go on YouTube and watch a girl twerk, and they, the guy's mind's already a I'm girl. Gonna, I'm gonna stop you because think about it. Restrictions is what causes ideas. Because at the end of the day, no, nah, yes, it's yeah, exactly. Yeah, hold on. Slaves were restricted. Yes, they were restricted. I will say the that. idea was to get free, was it not? No, no, no. White people didn't want to do things on their own. They needed help. But their ideas, their restrictions, they were restricted you, to not have But you have to restrict a child help. sometimes. They're not I mean, ready for that. You have to restrict the kid. You, you, no, you, you restrict have, a child? I'm not the child's sure. going to look for other ways around No, no, no. Listen, that's listen. Human listen. No, 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 no. But listen, no. If an eight-year-old, no, but but listen, though. An eight-year-old is not going to learn anything unless he sees it. Like, I'll give you an example. Me, personally. This is what happened to me. I remember. As a kid, I was eight years old. But you can't hide kids from everything. That other box is not real. Okay. Well... Yes, you exactly. can. No, no, no. Listen, you and that's can't. what's gonna stump all that in the hole. But the biggest problem, the reason why you can't hide nothing, because again, you have parents. Every parent doesn't think the same. Exactly. And, and when a child goes to school, most of the time they're gonna learn it from another Some student, which is kind of sad. Which is why I, I kind of, I agree. That's it should be twelve, though, but you may have to teach them even earlier now, before and they go fine. to school. I feel like if they, they're gonna, you teach have to teach them. I tell you about even seven or eight, which is sad. Yeah, no, that's fine. For okay, for, for, for 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 a boy. I would say for when his balls drop, I don't know what would, because everybody's life. different. Right. Every 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 male is different. So when average when is twelve. So like he said, the average is twelve. It so should from, be from, twelve. From ten, from, I say from ten to twelve, you teach him a little bit, not everything. Because once you get off that clock, that's what. It's, but then that's from what it's then from after twelve, once you get to twelve to sixteen, he starts learning a lot more. Yeah. But you got to keep tabs on that, like you said, when they're 16, you got to keep yeah. tabs on that child exactly. just to make sure he, he's learning for the right ways. Yeah, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you, yeah. yeah, that's my boy. He getting all the, he getting all the bitches. Exactly. And then but, he's going to say, what's going on? I'm going to try too. You know what I'm saying? But but times have changed, though. Times have changed. Sadly, times have changed. Because, like, okay, I feel like kids, they can have phones, but having all these apps and having all these yeah. social medias is a problem. Because well, there's, there's a lot of people out there that that sell sex for money and then they they yeah. get caught up in that. And just like I said, you're going, it's, again, Instagram, it's YouTube. Uh, but YouTube, but even, even, even though they can cheat it out, but YouTube, they ask for restriction ages. Man, that's a, look, that's But a, they can cheat look, that out because man, they can say, look, yeah. Look, I put a twerk on one time, there was no extra, no, they just went right there, some girl twerking, though. But that's the problem. But anyway, um, but that was a good conversation, you know what I'm saying? And when you feel like he needs help, you feel like he needs help. You feel like he needs to go to jail. I feel like he needs to go to jail because I feel like it's too late. But let me know in the comments below. The jail is going to be his help, bro. Huh? The jail is going to be his help. The jail, the jail is not going to be his help. It's just going to restrict him and make him want to do yeah. it more. He's well, going to get out. But, but, any, but anyway, anyway. anyway. He's going to know not to do it again if he don't want to go back to jail. Yeah. Let's slap on the jail. Man, no, he's, he's, all he's going to jail. But anyway, let us know in the comments below how you feel about that. And uh, man, it's your boy Rubino. It's your boy Richard Pancho. Again, King Bobby the Fourth. And ah, uh, it's Jake to the motherfucker. <laughs> Breezy, and we out of here. You feel me? Peace out.